January the 14th, 2005. The day had finally arrived, the day that I thought about every day for 17 years. A billion and a half miles away, out there near Saturn, there was something that we'd built and it was hurtling through space at 20,000 miles an hour. Would it do just what we designed it to do or would it all be wasted? We went into the, the science room that morning uh, knowing that whatever was going to happen was going to happen. I mean, this was the day. There was an enormous air of expectation. Basically, everyone I met was as excited, but also as nervous as I was about the whole mission. Frankly, I think we were all petrified. But the very worst thing that shouldn't have happened, happened. And it turned out that there was a, a major problem. I just wanted to go away and cry in a corner. That really ramped up the, the nerves. You know, there's a missing command, what else is wrong? I really had visions now of the last 17 years having been wasted. Growing up in the late 50s, all I knew about space travel was probably from reading about Dan Dare, for example, in the Eagle comic. I knew very little about the planets, probably from school books. All we knew was from often rather blurry, indistinct images from telescopes on the ground. I think I knew that Saturn was a, a large ball of gas, you know, we call it a gas giant, and that it was about a billion miles away from us here on the Earth. But I certainly didn't know anything about Titan. I didn't know that it was one of Saturn's moons orbiting around it. I mean, you have to remember, we didn't have any spacecraft images, of course. And then something happened to change all of that. 